Hi, and welcome back to this video guide on how to build an IT help desk application. In part three, we will learn how to create views to filter out users based on their unique role and how to create login screens to password protect all the functionality. Let's have a look. Now that we have all of our tables created, let's move down to views. Views are going to allow us to filter data from the tables. So whatever information you want to be able to see inside the view, you can configure it in order to filter out the specific data that you're looking for. In this case, we want to build three different views. We want to be able to filter out our admins, our IT employees, and also our users. So let's set up our first view. And let's give it a name. I'm going to follow the same naming convention. I'm going to use the same prefix, ITH underscore filter active admin. And I'm going to filter the information from the users table. We're going to move that table to the right. We're going to click next. And then using the criteria tab, you're going to find these drag and drop elements that you can snap in place. So there are small widgets that snap in place like Lego pieces. If you want to start over, just hover over the trash can and let go, or you can click on the reset link. So now, how do we configure this in order to filter out active admins? First, you move over the field element, you snap that in place, and then you select the field role, and you want that field to equal to the value of admin. Since first we're looking for active admins, let's make sure that's the value. And again, since you're looking for active admins, you need one more field element, and you need to select the field account status, and you want that to be checked. So if both of these two conditions are true, if value equals admin, and if the account status is checked, now this view is going to filter out only active admins from your table. So let's open it to verify. All right, and now you can see Carrie Smith. She's the only admin from our table. She is an active employee, so the view is going to filter her out. Let's build our two additional views to filter out IT employees and also low-level users. So our second view, ITH, filter, active, IT. Same users table, criteria tab, and let's set this up very quickly. Role field equals to IT, and we're looking for active IT employees. We want the account status to be checked. Let's take a look. Let's open the view just to verify once again, and you can see Raj is listed as our IT employee. And then one more view left, which is to filter out active users. So ITH, filter, active, users. From the same users table, move that to the right, click next, and once again, one last time in the criteria tab, we're going to select our role field equals to user, and since we're looking for active users, we want the account status to be checked. Let's open the view, and there you have Mike Lee. This is how in Caspio, at a later time, you're going to be able to give different types of users access to different interfaces. You first have to build these views to filter out the correct users based on their different role. The final step to building a foundation in Caspio is to build authentications. Authentications are essentially login screens that later on you're going to apply to all of your web interfaces. So if somebody wants to see a web form or if somebody wants to see a report, they'll first have to log in using some kind of an email and password credential combination. And upon logging in, they'll be able to gain access to all the functionality. So let's go to this object here. And just like views, we're going to have to set up three different login screens. So let's set up our first one. I need to select my data source as the very first step. And you'll notice in this drop down, we now have all three of those views. So let's begin with the admin level. For your setup option, you can have a quick login screen if needed, but I prefer custom because you get a lot more customization options. You can validate the people that are logging into the application using a Caspio data source, which is the view that we have selected up here. They can also log in using social media, combination of both Caspio credentials and social media, and finally, SAML, which is a single sign-on feature that's available on higher-end plans where your employees can log into their applications using their own network credentials. Today, we're going to focus on Caspio Data Source, which is the recommended. We have our two login fields, email and password. I'm just going to change the label to say email. And then down here below, you can also expand advanced settings. And in the advanced settings, you have some customizations as well. Once you're done making these modifications, you can just close that screen. And at the very bottom right hand corner, you can click on create to set up your first login screen. Let's give it a name, ITH admin login. 
And now very quickly, you can set up two additional login screens, one for your IT and the other one for your users. Let's take a look and see how quickly we can do that. So here's my view that's filtering IT. Custom, recommend it, change the label to email, and at the very bottom, just click on create. And let's give it a name. Let's call this ITH, IT, login. And last but not least, new authentication. Select the view that's filtering the users, custom, recommended, and once again, just change the label to say email, or you can change the label to say whatever you want. It's completely up to you. Click on create, and let's call it ITH, user login. And this completes the video on how to set up different views to filter out employees based on their unique user role and how to create login screens on top of the views, which you'll see how in the following video, once you attempt part four of this video guide, you will see how we build all the forms and reports and how we apply these login screens to each one of those data pages. Thanks for watching part three. I hope to see you in the next video.